He dominated the Olympic Games back in 1996. Chicago native Nate Jones took home the bronze that year, and since then, he has dedicated his life to help children in need. For the past 16 years, Nate Jones has hosted the Back to School Supplies Party, and today, hundreds of backpacks and stuffed are stuffed rather and ready to go. And joining me now is Nate Jones and event organizer Byron fin Finley. We really appreciate appreciate both of you being here this yes, morning. Thank you so much. I know it's early on a Saturday morning, but we appreciate it. Yes. So right now we know volunteers are setting up everything for just for the event that steps off pretty soon. And, and this year it's being held at Taste of Cabrini, correct? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and both of you are former residents of Cabrini, of correct? Course. That is so that, that is important here because it seems like you're coming back to the community and also giving back to the community. So thank you both for being here. We really appreciate it. Can you talk about this event, Nate, and why it's so important? Well, it's so important because we, we as owner man now, we was, it was a lot of gaming and, and people losing their lives. Now we're sticking together and trying to help these young men and becoming champions in life and learn to do the right things. Yeah, it's so important sticking together, helping these young people become champions in life. Yes. That is important. And how are you guys doing it? It's through this event. Can you talk about that? Well, honestly, um, I started this event uh, four years ago and I was inspired by stuff he was doing in, in the neighborhood. So he inspired me. So he inspired other young athletes and things in that nature. So our neighborhood pretty much uh, collapsed together through good food and good music. So that's how and we who collide. doesn't love food and music, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so it started uh, four years ago and uh, it's just got bigger and bigger and bigger and the neighborhood, they just, they counted on it. Mm -hmm. So me and Nate, we can't let the neighborhood down. And when we, when we, when we, you know, when we um, came Are out the hood, we still always came back. We can't forget where you come from. You cannot forget where you came from. I really like that. Yeah. Nate, you want to talk about the fan foundation. What can you tell us about it? Well, the Nate Jones Foundation, um, if you would like to donate to the Nate Jones Foundation, you can send in my email, natejonesfoundation at gmail.com. And um, we just know that giving back to these kids and making a difference in life, changing their lives and helping them out, we all need help. I had help coming up with, with my boxing coach. And I want to change some lives and help young men become accountable for their community and giving back. And that's, that means a lot to me. Yeah, everybody needs help. No one does it alone. Yes, and obviously you guys are doing something so important for the community. I want to ask about Cabrini Green. What are some positive things that you can talk about real quick? Because I think quite often when we think about Cabrini Green, it's something negative. But there's a lot of positives. Can you tell us about that? Great, great, great question. Um, uh, I was born in Cabrini Green in um, 1977. I was born in Cabrini Green. And um, I worked for the Park District for 10 years. And I'm currently oh, wow. working for uh, Streets and for 23 years so uh, I and I'm just a, just a positive force just letting the neighborhood know that you can have nice things and you can you can prevail in life you just stick with it and stick your mind to it and pray about things you know and uh, just a, a positive energy you know just give to the young the, the young generation and uh, just in, in following people like me you understand so he you know we watch him growing up and he was inspirational to us and right. I'm just trying to follow the, the trend that's, that's right. All. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, Nate, Byron, yes, thank yeah. you both so much for being here. Thank you for what you're doing for the community. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And the event we know is open to the public. It's yes. at Seward Park. Seward? Am yeah. I saying that right? Seward. Seward Park from 11 this morning until 8 this evening. So a lot of time to go out, enjoy yourself, and, you know, get involved, basically. Yes. Thank, thank you so much. We appreciate it.